So hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the full moon in Libra. Who am I? Secret code name themed readings. This is secret code name Mother Willow. All right. This is someone's personal secret code name reading. They booked it through my Etsy shop and I told them what their secret code name was. They know this is it. This is their reading. All right. If you have resonated to it in divine time, there is most likely a message in here for you. All right. If you would ever like your own personal secret code name themed reading, you can book them through my Etsy shop. All right. The link is in the description. So getting right into the secret code name Mother Willow and those who are drawn to it in divine time, I'm using my Mirror of the Soul Tarot to see what is your healing light, your yang, and what your healing dark or your yin is. And then the shadow that muddles the two, it's the gray area in between. It's not really you, right? It's the hurt person that hurts people energy. Healing and healing, healed people heal people, right? Yin and yang, light and dark, healed people heal. And then shadow is the hurt that hurts, okay? So we're going to identify what they are so that you can embrace both your light and your dark as healing and let the shadow go because that's what's hurting, all right? That's what's hurting you and or others. So, spirit please, your code name, Mother Willow. What is the healing light? What is their healing light? What insight can you give us, please? Okay. And what is the healing dark? Is the healing dark? Okay, and what is the illusion or the shadow? What is the gray? that muddles up your light and dark. Okay, Knight of Wands on bottom, Three of Cups on top. Three of Cups on top. And this deck is an abundance card. Spirit overflows. It, I also am I'm definitely feeling like it's third party energies. You might have a lot of third party energies around you. Or NPCs, non-playing characters. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons buff, you know what I'm talking about. They are characters in the game, but they are not players in the game. Knight of Wands, Knight of Discs, and the star on bottom. I think you got a lot of fire, but you, you're realistic. And that's healing. You got a lot of fire, but you're realistic. That's the underlying energy. And that's what's healing with these here. Okay, four of coins is under that. That's where your power is. So your healing light. We have the queen of swords with the tower. Eight of Coins, Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. 
I'm feeling this energy as being very humble. And when I say humble, I mean with your own ego, that you are willing to allow what you thought to be shattered in that for everything you think you know, you can admit that you knew nothing. You can admit that you knew nothing. You know how to make effort. You know when you're feeling wounded, like you're being taken advantage of or have been through too much. And you know how to listen to spirit. And if you've got to take the head off, then you got to take the head off. You got to humble somebody else. Like then you got to humble somebody else. Even if that means you yourself are also being humbled. Like maybe you thought this person had such great potential only to realize they have no fucking potential because they'll never fucking act on bringing their potential forward. So potential schmenschel. It doesn't matter. They can have all the potential in the world, but there's no fucking shot in hell that they're going to activate that and bring it to light. Then they really have no potential. They could, should, would be someone else, but they fucking aren't, you know? So you know how to admit, you know how to admit when you're fucking wrong. And you know how to humble the shit out of somebody who is playing you for fucking stupid. Who is wearing your energy thin. You know how to humble someone real fucking quick because you know how to be humble with spirit. You know how to ex you know how to accept when you were mistaken. People might see you as fucking harsh for it, but it's your healing light. It's 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 validated. You saw potential. Potential wasn't there because and only because they won't let it be there. And so if you rip someone an asshole for not living up to their potential because you saw it and, and maybe you live up to yours when you're not distracted by these people. You know how to cut someone off and admit that you can, you will move forward from it right now you're healing dark we have the ace of discs with the knight of cups clarified by the strength card and the queen of cups you really do know how to let it rip you receive a new beginning ace of coins clarified by the strength card which is the lust card in this deck and i heard lana del rey's uh lust for life with uh, the lust for life. I, I don't know if she did that solo or with somebody, the track, but that's what I heard, lust for life. And I heard Lana Del Rey. But you know, she's holding this tonsil and she's pulling the lion's tongue and using it as what would essentially be like the, the bit inside a horse's mouth, you know what I mean? That, that attaches to the reins. Like she's using the lion's tongue as the reins and she's holding on to the tonsils inside whatever this sacred mouth is and in the new beginning she's relishing in the fact that she's got the ego's tongue that she controls the ego's tongue and what it says that she, it, you know how to admit you know how to admit when you were wrong about somebody And you receive a brand new foundation when you reign in your ego. Matter of fact, spirit blesses you. It gives you this kind of angelic nurturing. Your earth angels might come forward and be very present for you when you unleash, right? You receive nurturance, you receive the compassion, you receive the mercy. That's your healing dark.
you might also know how to express compassion and mercy for other people who have been in similar situations or understanding now because you've been in situations and you might know how to better nurture with your words people who deserve it. My, you have you have real ego control in your dark. You might not even get sucked up in someone's potential. You might express to them that they have great potential but not get sucked up in it. So when it comes to the shadow, which is what you were taught, it's not who you are. This and your light and your dark, your healing is who you are. That's your whole yin yang balanced self, light and dark. There is no gray in a yin yang symbol. The gray is an illusion, there is no gray. This is what you were taught that is not you. It's not authentically you. Who you are is honest and a visionary when it comes to people. You make effort, you listen to spirit, you do as you're guided with these people and you know when to rip them a fucking new one because maybe someone fucking has to and it just so happens to be your MO. People who get it, get it. You're not a fucking liar. You gotta rip a new one, you gotta rip someone a new one. You're not a liar. They could fucking hate you for, for saying it. But you, you're, you're honest. You are humbling yourself. So the shadow that you learned is to obligate yourself or contract yourself to releasing judgment. Don't judge people. Don't judge people. Don't judge people. Don't judge people. Give people a chance. Don't judge people. Give them a chance. Comes out further with the world card and the hierophant. You marry closed cycles with third party people. They're closed. These third party people, non playing characters. You commit yourself to third parties because you were taught not to judge people. Look, you don't have to judge people for who they are in the present moment, but you don't have to give them fucking chances either. Like, listen, I don't know why you are the way you are. I don't judge you for it. I don't know what it's like to be you and live your life. I don't know you. I don't judge you but I'm not gonna fucking commit myself and marry a fucking closed book because I was told not to judge people and give people chances. You don't owe anybody a fucking chance. You don't owe anybody anything. These third party players, go find the actual fucking players. Go find the actual people that are on your side, your team playing with you. In this game called life, they are on your team. They are of the same energetic vibration, of the same energetic caliber. If you don't want to be close to somebody and give them a chance, then don't. You're not obligated. Oh, what, you won't go out with them because of this reason? Or you won't, you won't hang out with them for that reason? Or you won't go to this for that reason? Or... You don't like this person, so you're not going to come for me. Be like, listen, I don't fucking judge you. I don't judge them. But if I'm not, if I don't want to do whatever, then I'm not. I don't need to give anything a chance. I don't need to give anything a chance if I don't want to. You know, when you're divinely guided by spirit, people might not like it that, you know, you don't want to do whatever you want to do and don't whatever. But... You don't necessarily have to blow up later. You could just be humble. It's beautiful when you do. <laughs> it's beautiful when you do. But you can just simply create that realization in yourself. I don't have to do anything. I'm not obligated to anything. I don't care if they judge me. 
I'm not judging them for going. They, they cannot judge me for not going. And if they give you a hard time about it, well, then you unleash. Like, do I tell you what to fucking do? Do I judge you for going? Then don't, don't judge me for not going. Do I judge who the fuck you date? Okay, then don't judge who the fuck I date. Get rid of the shadow. You do not have to commit to not judging people. You don't have to commit to giving people chances because you were taught not to judge. That's not you. That's not you. This is the wounding you were taught. Be stubborn. Give people chances. Don't judge them. Don't give up on them. Don't give up on people. No, you don't got to judge them. But you don't have to commit shit to them either. Like to be in all fairness, I don't know why you are the way you are. But all I know is I either resonate with you or I don't. And I don't have to give you a chance if I don't fucking resonate. It's not because I'm judging you. It's because I don't fucking resonate. I don't have to give you a chance for anything. Who said? Who said? Who said I had to give you a chance and not judge you for being you? Go be you. I don't judge you. Go be you. I'm either going to resonate or I'm not. Take it or leave it. I don't know what to tell you. Because your light and your dark, your healing, when you're in balance with yourself, you know how to be humble and you know the right people will be in your life and resonate to you and they're like your fucking earth angels. They get it. They get it. They make progress with you. These angels, the wings are like a staircase. Your angels help you take the next steps forward. They give you the right energetic nurturance. When you can silence your ego, right? That doesn't want to feel like you're judging people because then you're afraid of being judged for judging people. Like, fuck everybody's judgment. <laughs> fuck everybody's judgment. No fucks given. No fucks given. You either resonate or you don't. You either resonate or you don't. Lots of fire. Smart about it. Lots of fire. Smart about it. That's what's healing. Because I feel like you've got a lot of fucking power and a lot of fucking fire. And you know how to just turn up the heat a little bit. Turn up the heat a little bit more. Oh, you don't fucking get what I'm saying? Turn up the heat a little bit more. You still not hearing me? Turn up the heat a little bit more. Cautious, right? Patient. Turn up the honesty a little more. Turn up the whatever a little more. Oh, you still don't get it? Bitch, I will blow the fuck up. <laughs> Did you not hear me the first 10 fucking times I said it? Let me make it super fucking clear and loud so your deaf fucking energy don't miss it. <laughs> I tried saying it nicely 10 fucking times. Just be your fucking self. Don't worry about not giving anybody anything. Okay? Period. So I hope that helps. Leave a comment. Let me know if it resonated. Drop a like if you haven't already. Um, if this is your personal secret code name, I greatly appreciate any and all reviews. Any and all reviews left in the Etsy shop. I really appreciate it a lot. Guys, have a great one. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next time. See ya.